Ever since Modern Warfare 2, every Call of Duty title through to Modern Warfare in 2019 has featured at least one type of hatchet. Each one has been different in its own right and been effective in the given game style. Hatches have been used by the players for feeding cross maps, back shots, trick shots or just general offhand throwable objects. Throughout the Call of Duty, some are questionably better than others, and if Call of Duty were to ever do an all-in-one Call of Duty with every single hatchet available to the player, how would they compare in value to each player based on their identity in previous titles? In this list, we'll be ranking every hatchet based on its own merits as well as how effective they are in their selected game mode for the players. I'm XMK Epic from XMK Clan, and here is every throwable hatchet in Call of Duty ranked from best to worst. Subscribe. Number 17, The Throwing Knife, Advanced Warfare. This one is a questionable entry on this list, but given it was technically in, it counts. Sledgehammer's first Call of Duty game had a questionable equipment system featuring one piece we'll get onto further in this list. A modder decided to add the throwing knife as part of a modded menu for old gen players. The throwing knife was designed from the older style of throwing knife from Modern Warfare 2, and was shot from the exo arm like every other piece of equipment in Advanced Warfare. The crosshairs consisted of a 6 point star feature opposed to the vertical box player we're familiar to, and these throw knives were not resupplied through scavenger, therefore players had to go up to the throw knife and pick it up. At certain points the throwing knife, though available for player reach, couldn't be retrieved at some points. As this wasn't accessible to all players, it will unfortunately go down as the worst entry on this list. Number 16, the Spectre Blade Black Ops 4. Another questionable entry, but given this object is a knifing tool that can be thrown, it meets the list's requirements. The Spectre Blade was added as part of the Operation Spectre DLC for Black Ops 4. As the main specialist ability for the Spectre, the player had a huge blade which gifted the player in question a great melee skill, however focusing on just the throwable part. This weapon can be thrown at any point, where not only is this blade's trajectory straightforward due to the force of which it is thrown, but can also take out multiple enemies due to the velocity of this deadly weapon. However, the long weight and nature of that once thrown it cannot be picked up from where it's landed makes it a very rare accessory for knifers. Number 15, The Hell's Retriever, Black Ops 4. Mob of the Dead revitalised an almost dying Treyarch zombie storyline by revamping their series. As part of one of the easter eggs, a throwable hatchet was added to the game. This piece of equipment enabled the player to take out trains of zombies as well as coming back to the player and recharging. The easter egg part also allows the player to pack a punch the Hell's Retriever to the Hell's Redeemer, giving the axe more power. As this is mainly in zombies, it's questionable how well it would work in a multiplayer mode given its overpowered nature. In Black Ops 4's Operation Z event, they added the Hell's Retriever to the game, where for a limited time players could use this hatchet to kill players in Blackout. This axe acted similar to the combat axe and was only unique with a huge glowing flare, making retrieving this axe more accessible. As opposed to zombies, once thrown you must retrieve the axe once thrown in Blackout, implying each throw had to be accurate and on target. Throw speed for the Hell's Retriever in Black Ops 4 was 0.5 seconds, and given its very rare accessibility, it won't be remembered fondly by knifers. Although that doesn't make it sound too bad or lethal, in Blackout's infected game mode Pandemic, these hatchets only implemented 75 damage to players when hit, and given players had 150 health, these axes were not an instant kill on players, and are poor in comparison to their siblings. Number 14, the Huffman Axe, Infinite Warfare. Infinite Warfare got a very bad press, but one thing they sort of got right was weapon variants. One variant in particular is the Huntsman Axe DLC weapon. The original is just like any other melee weapon, but the legendary variant, only available in the reserves, allows the player to throw this axe at further to reach players. Even though it's not as quick as the Spectre Blade in Black Ops 4, this variant can not only bounce very far as a bank shot tool, but can also be retrieved and used again by the player. Furthermore, you can equip it as a constant usable weapon throughout the game, meaning it has more accessibility to the players, but it's not retrievable via scavenger given it's a DLC weapon. Only few players have been lucky enough to use this. This weapon is available as the last kill in Epic Gun Game from Infinite Warfare, but given that Epic Gun Game is an on and off event, we can't really see the Huntsman Axe as that great a hatchet for the average player. Number 13, the Combat Axe, Black Ops 4. The Black Ops 4 Combat Axe is quite arguably one of the worst hatchet in Call of Duty's illustrious history. Fair enough, you could argue that unlike others we will soon look into, the Combat Axe for Black Ops 4 is decent, but a few poor issues make this one of the worst. First of all, the fact is that the hatchet has a time delay unlike any of its predecessors shows that accessibility is poor, as well as the issue where equipment couldn't be spammed early in Black Ops 4, which has since been patched. Also, Scavenger and Ammo Pack cannot resupply your combat axes. Players who opted for trophy systems also gained an edge by placing down a trophy system would immediately destroy a Hail Mary that had taken time to charge. Furthermore, the bank shot capability of these axes is very poor compared to others and wasn't as effective as it could have been for Black Ops 4's fast paced game. Finally, given that these axes had a throw speed of 0.5 seconds with no perks available to the player to enhance this travesty proves that the combat axe for Black Ops 4 holds the distinction of being the worst accessible hatchet for all players. Number 12, the combat axe, COD Mobile. 
COD Mobile has taken the Call of Duty world by storm by becoming one of the better Call of Duty games. One of the features in COD Mobile is that you can play sticks and stones which includes a melee weapon, molotovs and gravity spikes for some reason, as well as a combat axe. This combat axe has quite possibly the longest throw time of any Call of Duty, with it taking 0.5 seconds to hold out the axe, while also taking 0.15 seconds for the aiming arc, and another 0.2 seconds to throw the axe at your intended target. Implying a quick swap and release, throw will take 0.85 seconds in total. This lethal has a similar design to the Black Ops 3 Combat Axe, and acts like the BO3 Tomahawk as it can be retrieved by stepping over it. However, Scavenger does not replenish your axe, and the axe you spawn in with is the only axe you have available unless you either pick up your own axe, or wait a considerably long time for your axe to recharge. Picking up your thrown axe will stop the countdown timer for the recharge of the empty combat axe. This lethal is currently not available in the full multiplayer mode, but given that you can get it straight off when you spawn in, it makes it one better than the Black Ops 4 combat axe. Number 11, the throwing knife, COD Online. The forgotten son of the Call of Duty community, COD Online is a Japanese FPS game featuring a Modern Warfare 2 lookalike in a throwing knife. This throwing knife has similar properties to the Modern Warfare 2 throwing knife as it takes 0.25 seconds to throw the knife, as well as it having a similar trajectory to its western counterpart. Not much else has been researched on this knife's appearance in Call of Duty Online other than a few clips here and there, therefore it's difficult to say if this throwing knife is better than the original. Number 10, the throwing knife, Modern Warfare 2. The original and to most people the best given its OG status, however there are a few underlying issues against its competitors. First of all, you can only equip one throwing knife on your class. Also, given the pointy nature of a throwing knife, bank shotting is trickier as you must be at an angle when bank shotting as throwing the knife at a perpendicular surface will cause the knife to get stuck causing the player a difficulty to retrieve this knife. The player must retrieve the axe by using the square or X button if you're on Xbox to resupply, but given you can resupply with the aid of Scavenger, it's one up against the Black Ops 4 axe. One Man Army does give this knife some resupply hope though, as using the throwing knife class with One Man Army does ensure you're always able to resupply and have another attempt at hitting your target. Unfortunately, Modern Warfare 2's map designs and dodgy servers show that more often than not, running around with a throwing knife was not as effective as other playstyles in the game. Number 9, the Bio Spike, Infinite Warfare. Unlocked at level 55 in game, one questionable piece of equipment was the Bio Spike. In order to revamp their once beloved throwing knife, Infinity Ward created a futuristic version of the throwing knife in the Bio Spike. This device threw like a normal throwing knife and had similar properties apart from a few issues. First off, the Bio Spike would explode once coming into contact with another enemy, which was very effective at taking out players on an objective flag like Domination. And this allowed the player to kill multiple enemies at once, meaning this version should have been ranked better than any other hatchet. However, this explosion trait caused a bit of controversy in the feeding community, given that multi-kills with bio spikes made feeding slightly easier. Also, spikes could not be retrieved through scavenger, however could be retrieved through using the warfighter trait resupply. The main issue though is that the explosion would cause harm to the player. This would cause some players to use Blast Shield as part of their normal loadout, but after two close range kills in quick succession with the Bio Spike and Blast Shield, the player would be fatally damaged, and if any hatchet could do damage to an owner, then it's probably more problematic than useful. Number 8, the Combat Axe, Black Ops 3. As Treyarch's third instalment of the hatchet, the Combat Axe in Black Ops 3 was not too bad a lethal option. Available for unlock at level 41, this version of a combat axe was a very decent addition to any class setup. Having a reasonable throw speed of 0.3 seconds, alongside being able to retrieve this axe by simply walking over it, as well as being able to see the axe from distances with the help of a yellow glow showing through the map, this lethal was one of the more deadly versions of the hatchets for Call of Duty. The fire break ability Heatwave was also a great pairing, as momentarily stunning your enemies properly, unlike the pathetic excuse for a concussion grenade Black Ops 3 had available, allowed you to have a decent amount of time to get your bearings and kill the enemy with ease. This combat axe loses points however for not having a quicker throw speed, not to mention the bank shots being again tricky with the first bank shot taking momentum from the axe and slowing the axe down as the axe continues the flight path. Lastly, trophy systems in Black Ops 3 could destroy combat axes within 10 meters, frustrating knifers and vanishing these one hit wonders. Number 7, the Spike Drone, Advanced Warfare. Looking more like a Toclophane than a throwing knife, the Spike Drone holds a distinction of being the most unique version of the hatchets in Call of Duty. Designed as a futuristic version of the standard hatchet, this barbed spear had various exclusive properties in comparison to its forebearers, i.e. a useful boomerang feature where once thrown the player can call back the Spike Drone to the Exo Launcher, and given there's no interference between the landing place and the player, the Spike Drone will return on command and be able for use again. Any enemies caught between the retreating spheres would succumb to a bitter end and oddly momentum would continue, meaning multiple hostiles would be eliminated by this single drone's reoccurrence. 
Issues, however, are that this weapon is unlocked at level 49, which is quite late in the game. Also, the spike drone sticks to any surface it comes into contact with, therefore bank shots are almost impossible with this lethal. Testing shortly after the game came out showed that the spike drone has a tendency to bank shot off the aerial recon drone, assault drone, and another place spike drone, but given how inconsistent this is, we cannot give it justice as a bank shot capable hatchet in regards to the others. Number 6. The Throwing Knife, Modern Warfare 3. The Modern Warfare 3 version of the Throwing Knife is near enough the exact same as the Modern Warfare 2 version, so it's almost questionable how it's higher on this list. Well, in Modern Warfare 3, one perk titled Quick Draw Pro allowed the players to throw this hatchet faster than normal. This was at one point game changing, as it allowed a more improved version of the equipment available to players and almost acted as an attachment for the Throwing Knife. Another perk of this throwing knife is that the player's knives were available for you to pick off the floor should you be near enough. Game modes such as Infected and All or Nothing cater more towards the use of throwing knives, giving the throwing knife more of a usefulness in the community. Map designs also lent to the community getting some of the best bank shots from players such as Skateboard T508, Lemon and Mushroom, and a lot of All or Nothing kill cams, not forgetting Vicstar 123's bullseye montages. Number 5, the Tomahawk Black Ops. One of the most satisfying sounds ever recorded by the human race, the Tomahawk in Black Ops was something unique. Rivaling Infinity Ward's throwing knife, Treyarch designed the Tomahawk as this unbelievable throwing knife where the knife bounced as if the maps were made of rubber. Being available early on to the players, the Tomahawk is regarded as a knifer's favourite hatchet. Scavenger resupplied these axes and Warlord Pro allowed you to carry two of these lethal axes, giving you twice a chance of eliminating the enemy. The camera spike played a part to the more out-of-the-box players by acting as an object to bounce off and generating a more creative kill on hostile targets. The downside with these tomahawks though is given the dodgy connection on Black Ops, aiming with these hatchets was difficult at times as the enemy would be in a completely different place to where you aim. Also, if you weren't using scavenger, you had to retrieve the axe via the X or square button, which was near enough impossible when an enemy's weapon dropped over the axe and players would 9 times out of 10 pick up the weapon when the option for the tomahawk appeared. Number 4, the Combat Axe, Black Ops 2. When you think of a simple but effective hatchet, you look towards the Tomahawk in Black Ops 2. This 2025 Axe incarnation was not only available in multiplayer, but also the campaign missions. The Combat Axe became the first of many to be picked up simply by walking over the Fallen Axe. This didn't include teammates dropped axes, but hostile axes in Scavenger allowed you to replenish these. The Fast Hands perk allowed you to have a quicker throw speed, as well as Black Ops 2's perk Greed allowing you to have Scavenger, Fast Hands, Lightweight, and Extreme Conditioning, all for one class. A weird glitch with a teammate's held out shield allowed you to ping these axes across the map to hit some of the most insane axes, as well as maps like Meltdown, Encore and Raid having areas where the axe would slowly tumble down to eliminate the unexpected target. A few issues however arose with firstly Black Ops 2's bias knifing system meaning where you aimed the axe and where the axe flew in relation to your aim was completely different in comparison to other lethal options. Not to mention Black Ops 2 had a problem where players movable point of view area changed during matches where they could look higher than normal, unfortunately meaning straight up spots would only land a few feet in front of a throw point. This was one of the first Call of Duty titles that also allowed trophy systems to destroy combat axes, ruining knifers attempts at feeding. Number 3, the throwing knife Modern Warfare. This lethal has only been around for a few months, but has already put shame on its counterparts. Firstly, the throw speed is the same as other throwing knives at 0.25 seconds regardless of what weapon you're carrying. Next, this throwing knife can be resupplied through scavenger, ammo boxes, and any left lying around near you from teammates and enemies. Not only this, but perks like shrapnel allow you to spawn in with two axes and restock resupplies axes whilst you're playing, and unlike Black Ops 4, this timer does not freeze in regards to what your player does. Restock only becomes inactive if a player has three axes in their arsenal or if a player falls in battle. The only major issue with this glorious rendition of a throwing knife is that aiming at an enemy requires pinpoint accuracy, otherwise you'll meet your demise. Another tiny issue with this throwing knife is that for further to reach targets you'll require to aim just a bit higher than you would with previous hatchets as gravity has more of an effect on this knife. Access and usefulness though make this really one of the best knives out of a bunch. Number 2, the throwing knife, World War 2. Proving that size doesn't matter, the World War 2 throwing knife is absolutely lethal in regards to its ability. Having one of the more unique trajectories, this throwing knife was thrown at the typical speed, but the velocity and the travel path was exhilarating. This throwing knife could take out far to reach enemies, with the player not having to worry too much about aiming high to do so. Serrated also played a part, as the player could have a maximum of 3 knives to start with. Cross maps were a bit of an issue though, as the straightforward trajectory didn't complement the knife in the cross map role, but as a feeding tool, this knife was brilliant for taking down enemies. Gun game also implemented a quick resupply for the throwing knives once you're on the last weapon, so players had ample opportunity to hit their intended target. And number one, the throwing knife, Ghosts. 
When you think of the best of the best, nothing comes closer than the Call of Duty Ghost's Throw and Knife. As questionable as the game was, you cannot deny that the Ghost's Throw and Knife was on another level to any other hatchet. First of all, the registration for this knife was unlike any others, as the aiming and throw speed combined with the travel path just worked perfectly. Secondly, these knives were easily accessible to the player through the ammo crates and scavenger pack, including the ability to be retrieved once thrown. Perks such as extra lethal and strong arms gave this knife more of a velocity, allowing for greater impact and also further travel distance on bank shots. Game modes such as Infected, Gun Game and Hunted complemented the knives by giving the player ample opportunity to use them effectively. Finally, having the option to use these in helicopters, Maniac and trophy systems having no effect on these knives meant that this has no big issues and will always go down as the best hatchet in the Call of Duty series. And that has been it for every hatchet ranked from best to worst. Do you agree or do you disagree? Please let us know your list in the comment section down below and you can hit the subscribe button right below to be the first to know about any more of these ranked videos. If you do want to see more videos like this, then please do let me know down below. Thank you for watching and stay epic.